Hey guys, welcome to my Japan vlog. In today's vlog, I am going to cover one of my very favorite places named Hakone, which is a famous onsen destination near Tokyo. And in this video, I featured my day one of my two day Hakone trip, which includes my way to Hakone Yumoto Station, the Picasso Museum, the Gora Park, the Yunesan Onsen, and so on. Anyway, let's start. So, definitely the first question is how to go to Hakone and maybe some people will also wondering about the cost of transportation and other stuff. To go to Hakone, first you have to go to Shinjuku station and ride on Oda Kyo line set to Hakone Yumoto station. You can buy your ticket there but for the tourists, the Oda Kyo travel offers a 2-day Hakone free pass which includes a round trip ticket to Hakone and also a free pass of all the transports inside the Hakone area. Even it covers the pirate ship and Hakone cable car ticket as well. And about the cost, it's only around like 55 to 60 dollars for one adult person. For children, there is also a big discount. Additionally, if you want to add some upgrades, then adding only 10 dollars can book a one-way ticket of Hakone Romance car, which facilitates one fix seat for you and you can enjoy the outside scenarios all the time but don't forget to choose right side of the window because most of the beautiful scenes comes from that side and unfortunately i got the left side man whatever it was also fun and around 75 minutes of train journey with free nature viewing finally our train reached the hakone yumoto station so welcome to hakone Right now I am in Hakono Yumoto station and my plan was taking a uh, Tozan cable car to go to Gora. Basically Gora is the center of Hakone and uh, wherever you want to go, uh, I think Gora is the center point for all the places. Uh, but uh, um, somehow, uh, for maybe for heavy wine, uh, today and yesterday and maybe tomorrow, the Hakone Tozan cable car is uh, stopped for safety. And that's why they gave a replacement bus for, from Hakono Yumoto station to Gora station. So let's take the bus and go to Gora. Honestly, I was a little frustrated when I heard that I have to go to Gora by bus. Because in case of the bus, I could miss lots of scenes. But soon after the bus started, I found a completely different nature. The zigzag mountain road of the way and the surrounding nature everything was peacefully mind-blowing and i didn't get bored at all and after 30 minutes of bus ride i reached gora station now from here you can go to almost all the tourist spots of hakone but i decided to go to hakone open air museum first because it was the nearest according to my google map so let's go to that place so now i am in gora station and from Gora station, I am going to Hakone Open Air Museum, uh, which is very famous place. Uh, maybe there are buses uh, to go there, but since it's only 600 meter from the station, so I decided to go there by walk. And uh, I also wanted to enjoy the nature of the place. And <laughs> that's why I decided to walk. But uh, it's really cold here. So if you come to this place, uh, definitely in especially in winter like me uh, definitely don't forget to bring uh, your winter jackets and also gloves and other things uh, however let's see what we find in the open air museum Hakone open air museum which is also known as Picasso museum is really a masterpiece of architecture the museum was opened in 1969 and it has the artwork collection made by Pablo Picasso, Henry Murray, Taro Okamoto and lots of other famous artists around the world. The quality of the collection is 100 out of 100. There are lots of statues in the whole area. However, I don't have good knowledge of art so I didn't identify whose statues they are. <laughs> 
When I was moving towards the Picasso building, I was having a divine feeling. Under the blue sky, surrounded by the free air, ah, what a feeling it was. And when you have good feelings, don't forget to take lots of photos. <laughs> Anyway, near to the Picasso building, there is a free food bath section where you can watch and feel the natural view of the museum while relaxing with a fresh food spa. The food spa costs no money, but if you don't have towels with you, then you can take it from the nearest vending machine only by 100 yen. After relaxing my feet, I decided to go to the peak of the tower in front of the food spa section. To go to the peak of the tower, you have to pass through hundreds of high zigzag stairs or maybe more than hundreds, whatever. But these stairs themselves are a piece of mark and it takes a few minutes to reach the top of the tower. From the tower, you can watch the whole museum area, you can take lots of photos and breathe fresh air. And definitely I did the same. After enjoying the scene for a while, now it's time to go down. But here it's not the end, because still there is another attraction, the Avatar Museum, where you can move avatars with your movement. Mm, it's a kind of kid's place by the way, but adults like me were also enjoying a lot, so don't feel shy, okay? And after this avatar museum, now the total area can be saved as explored. And my $13 entry fee is perfectly paid off. Now it's time for the next stop, Gora Park. It takes around 20 minutes by walk from the Picasso Museum to the Gora Park. Gora Park is basically an ancient Greek styled park centered with an awesome water fountain. The view of the fountain and also the view of the mountain from the fountain both are outstanding. The surrounding is very silent and peaceful so I will recommend you to take a seat for a while there. Even you can take a little nap and no one is going to disturb you. And if you are traveling with your loved one then this is the most recommended place to have some very very romantic moment. Besides, in the entrance of the park, there is also a cute souvenir shop. So if you want to buy souvenir for your family or friends, feel free to buy from here. The cost is reasonable and the quality is satisfactory. Around 2 pm, I have done with Gora Park and then heading to Gora station again to take the free shuttle bus to Unison Onsen. Unison Onsen was kind of frustrating to me. It's basically a theme park for onsen lovers. There are different onsen spaces with different flavors inside the park. For example, sake onsen, coffee onsen, etc. But it was too much crowded and it's kind of hard to get your own space inside the park. But the open space was uh, pretty awesome. Playing on hot water in minus temperature was also fun. But still, it is recommended for family or kids. But for solo travelers or couples, I don't think this place will be a good choice. Anyway, the onsen is over. Now it's time to move to Odawara where I already booked my Airbnb hostel. From Yunasan Onsen, there are free buses to Odawara station, which takes around 30 minutes. But it was rush time, that's why it uh, took around an hour for me to reach Odawara station. But I didn't feel bad because the journey wasn't boring at all, it was nice anyway. After coming to Odawara, at first I checked into my Airbnb hostel. The name of the hostel was Plum Hostel, which is a few minutes walk from the Odawara station. The host Hayato-san is very friendly and can speak English very well. The hostel was clean and the decoration was really cool. And for your kind information, I shared an affiliate link of the hostel in, the, in my description so that you can use it if you want. Anyway, now it's dinner time. 
Odawa is very famous for its fresh fish items and there are lots of restaurants with delicious fish items near the station. I chose one of the restaurants and ordered a $14 fish dish. I forgot the Japanese name of the menu by the way, but the food was super delicious and I can still feel the taste man, ah, it was really awesome. Finally, after the dinner, it's time to take a deep sleep because tomorrow is going to be a long day for me. And tomorrow, I am going to visit Pistori, Light Volcano, Sky Bridge and so on. It's going to be a really fun day and yeah, also adventurous. So until then, sayonara. <laughs>